Hello friends and welcome to Roar Church, Texarkana. If you want more information about anything that we do, go to jojodawson.net. You can find our YouTube videos, our blogs, where to sow, how to partner with us, any of that information. We hope that you enjoy this message. So today, we're going to have one of our great friends, Apostle Jeannie Cooper, come. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a great word. I mean, it's going to be so powerful and so phenomenal. And so no pressure on Apostle Jeannie, but, but y'all give a Texas welcome to our Oklahoma friend. <laughs> no pressure. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can make bread cakes, too. Yeah. All right. Man, we just love to be here. We just love to be here. Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this place. I just heard the Lord say to peel back your ears. And I just pray, Father, that we receive this word, Father, and I give you all the credit for it. We've got to prepare ourselves, Father. Help us to prepare ourselves, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. I just say that we're ready for the explosion. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I feel so at home here. Usually, um, uh, you... you you get asked to come places, and I'm so honored to be here, and I'm, I've got, we've got to know you all as family, and so I feel so at home here, so I want to thank you guys for that, and thank you all for the opportunity to get to, to, to speak here, because um, I feel like that I've, this is what the Lord has, has shown me. Um, there's something, Apostle Joe was just saying what it is that the Lord is showing me. There's some things that people put a lot of emphasis on, and I believe the Lord is putting an emphasis on things, but it's going to be to the people of those that are the level of faithfulness that you're at right now. It's as if, if God froze everything right now, where would you be? If God froze everything right now, which direction would you be facing? And this is, this is what he's, he's showing me. And this, I'm going to give you the word and I'm going to try to stay with this and try not to get too crazy because it, sometimes I just get crazy and I've got to I've got to stay on point with what the Lord gave me to give you this, this weekend. He gave me a word called explosion. Um, on July the 26th, it was a Friday, a couple of weeks ago, um, I was praying and he said this. He said, heaven has designed for this to be a time of explosions. I heard that in prayer and, and he began to show me explosive anointings are going to be released, explosive faith, explosive breakthroughs. He said there will be an explosive freedom explosive revelations, this explosive power that like we've never seen before. And he said, he said, one of the things that he was showing me was that people that are um, unfaithful and wishy-washy are like rockets. And whatever, which way that rocket is pointed, when there's an explosion, you're going to be going in that direction. And if you're going in the right direction, you're going to get there and you're going to get there quick. And faithfulness is going to be <laughs> what it is that God's going to look at. Um, let me, let me get on with this where he continued to tell me explosive people will begin to collide with other explosive people. And this is, this is what the Lord is going to, he, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but what you've been waiting for, you're not going to have to wait anymore. Amen. There's things that have been on the tip and the verge and the verge is already hit and it's going to explode. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are destined to explode on some strongholds of the ages. Things that's been there for ages and ages and ages are going to be exploded. The explosion of anointings. There's going to be breakthroughs in your life that's been there for centuries that the Lord showed me of just breaking them up like an earthquake, of just pulling things apart. Amen. Apostolic prophetic people, get ready to be ignited in this explosion. We are charged for change. We've been talking about it. We've been praying about it. We've been prophesying about it. And it's time now. Right now is time. We, there, this, is what, this is what it is. Faithful people just hang on. We just hang on. We have to hang on. Faithfulness causes us to hang on. We're destined to hang on. And our hanging on time is over. It's going to happen and it's happening quick. Amen. Prodigals that you never dreamed of coming home are coming. That you've, this, look, I'm walking in this right now in my own life. Prodigals that people forgot about are coming home. And it's time for us to take our spots that the Lord has called us to be spiritual parents that they need. I was telling them last night, it's not, we're, we're, even, we're even bypassing uh, uh, the faithfulness that we need as being spiritual parents. Because some of us has given up on the prodigals. 
And instead of the fathers waiting, down, watching down the road for the prodigals, the prodigals are now standing at the end of the road looking for us parents to stand and be faithful spiritual parents. We've got to stand up and be faithful because the explosion is going to freeze everything that we've got. It's going to, so if you're not faithful, today's your time to step it up. I mean, and, and this, is, this is almost, I feel like almost an emergency and a warning in my spirit because of it. Amen. We are, we are combusting with revival because we have prepared for it. We, ha we have already prepared for it and the Lord is going to start delivering on what he told us he was going to do. We will move out the mountains of the mundane because God has commissioned us to explode. Ephesians 3.16 in the Passion Translation says this, And I pray that he would unveil within you the unlimited riches of glory and favor until supernatural strength floods your innermost being with his divine might and explosive power. Ephesians 6.10 says, Now, beloved ones, I have saved the, these most important truths for last. Be supernaturally infused with strength through your life union with the Lord Jesus. Stand victorious with the force of his explosive power flowing in and through you. Amen. There's that word explosive. That's all I've been seeing for two weeks is the word explosive and explosion. God has commissioned people that have cultivated a lifestyle of being faithful fuses that will ignite this explosion. It's going to take faithful fuses that have stuck where they needed to stay stuck. Come on and be those places of dynamite that the dunamis power of God can flow through. Amen. We're called to this. Amen. Amen. An explosion, the Lord showed me, unveils and uncovers everything. <laughs> everything gets exposed in an exposed explosion. Everything will look different after an explosion. After I began to pray on this word, I wrote this. The Lord gave me the explosion. The Lord is releasing a powerful explosion of awakening, an explosion of power, of revelation, and freedom. The combustion of this explosion will move and reform everything. Everything will look different. It will abruptly awaken those that have succumbed to the Christian coma. He is breaking the cycles of programs, promotion, and pretense, and the lack of prayer. The church will rumble with intercession, and she is filling up with the prodigals that are full of potential. The religious spirits are ranting about the mess of the explosion, but nobody's listening to them. God is rewarding the faithful fuses that ignited this revival. So stand your ground, roll up your sleeves, and fight. Whenever the dust settles, the sons will be left standing, and the warfare is always worth it. Amen? Come on, we've got to get ourselves ready. If we're not ready, you better get ready today. I'm not saying wait till next week. I'm saying today. Amen? Explosions make a mess. This explosion of God's power will jar the Jezebels. Are we ready for God to use us in supernatural ways? Are we ready to let his divine, supernatural, explosive power flow through our lives? Are you ready for this? If you're ready for it, then you're going to have to stop hesitating. Explosions do not hesitate. Amen? I asked my friend this week to pray for me about this weekend. She sent me a Marco Polo and she said, she began to pray for me and she said, I heard the first word I heard was dynamic. <laughs> when she said dynamic, I heard dynamite. <laughs> to define, listen to this, to define the word dynamic. It said this, <laughs> it's crazy, this is crazy. The forces or properties which stimulate growth. It stimulates development or change within a system or a process. We're fixing to change some systems. The explosion of God's power is fixing to, to tear down some systems that's been there for a long, long time. Systems that he did not create. Amen. The Lord showed me that even when they build huge man-made skyscraper buildings, huge, huge buildings are strategically set for explosions to go off just the right time. And God's going to start bringing down some things that man has made. And he's going to start clearing places out for God to plant things that he wanted, he wanted to be there. God's going to start putting up new structures, new developments. He's going to have new strategies. These are all going to be new things because he's taken down a lot of things that he never meant for them to be there in the first place. The, this is what's crazy. This dunamis power available to upset every stronghold and boulder that has stood in the way of revival and awakening is going to be removed. 
In Philippians 4.13, it says, And I have found that the strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. Come on, have you been going through any difficulties? The difficulties has been there to test you to see if you're going to go to the easy, comfortable side or if you're going to stay faithful or not. That's what it's all about. It's all about the end result is going to be the explosion. Amen? Amen. I, looked, I began to look this up because I'm just nerdy like that, but I began to look up stuff like this. That, but the man that invented dynamite, his name was Alfred Nobel, where we get the Nobel Prize. And I began to read about him. He, back, in the, back whenever nitroglycerin and all these things, if you'll remember, nitroglycerin used to be a liquid, and you, has to be, you used to have to be very, very careful with it or it would explode, explode in your hand. It would, if you moved it too much, it would explode on you because it was so combustive. It was a liquid. And he was a chemist, and he discovered and created a way to put elements like sulfur and other things to make a powder to where you could make dynamite so that it could be controlled. And the Lord said, there's people that are not handling my explosive power in the right way. And they've exploded on some things that I didn't send them to explode. He said, but people that have been faithful in in prayer and people that have been continuing in prayer, people that have been standing when everybody else is ready to sit down, you're going to be the ones that God's going to hand you something that's explosive because you're going to keep it in his name. It's not going to be about your name. It's going to be about his name. Amen. Amen. In fact, uh, Mr. Nobel, he lost a brother because of this, uh, this nitro being so uh, explosive. He invented this chemistry, like I said, with sulfur and other things to make the powder where it wasn't dangerous. In fact, he had, he had to use a unity of elements. He had to use things that he could unify together. If you're not willing to unify with people that are different from you, you're not going to be part of the explosion. Amen. You're going, to have to, you're going to have to get over some of the things that your mindset has kept you in, and you're going to have to get to a place of unity. They're, they're not like you. They don't talk like you. They don't dress like you, but they're part of the explosion. And you're going to miss out if you're not willing to unify. And I'm speaking a lot of that to leaders because I felt like leaders was what God was saying this about. Amen. Those that have handled God's things God's way, those that have been careful with the things of God are now commissioned to walk with an explosive anointing. And that's not going to be everyone, unfortunately. Amen? Like I said before, he said this. He said, if you're deep, you'll be faithful. Don't try to be deep if you're not faithful. If you're not faithful in everything that God's handed you to do, don't try to be a person of deepness that tries to to awe everybody. Because explosions just will remove everything that's surface. So surface devotion and surface activities are going to be blown away. You better be planted deep and you better be serious about what it is God's calling you to do. Amen? Jesus. It's taken the faithful fuses to ignite this explosion. It's going to be faithful people. People that probably no one ever even notices. They're They're so part of the furniture in the room that you don't even notice them. But the room wouldn't be the same if they weren't there. Amen? The use of power and unity. He used different things to mix together, combining the right properties in unity, secured stability. See, a lot of times people with that, they may have an anointing, but they didn't, they didn't produce and, and let God create character and integrity in their life. And so they were dangerous with their anointing. And God's looking for people that are stable and faithful so that whenever he releases his anointing and this, this explosion of power that he's going to have, you're not going to just have a gift blow your way. You're going to have faithfulness to stand upon. You're going to have character and integrity in people. They're going to be there when they say they're going to be there. They're going to be who they say that they are. And they're not going to be fake. And they're not going to be full of themselves. They're going to be people of faithfulness. Amen. The Lord said, there are people on the earth that know how to handle my power and keep it my power. Those are the sons and daughters of explosion that I'm looking for. People that are willing to lay down their lives for reformation. They understand that it's not just about your name and about their ministry name, but that unity commands the blessing. Amen. Some of the things that dynamite is used for for, was for development. And I talked about this for a second while ago. Development needed to happen whenever they began to understand what dynamite could do. There would be a mountain there and they would be able to blast through that mountain to make passages so that they could get to other locations. This explosive power is going to move mountains because we're going to have an explosive move of faith again where people can, can remove mountains with declarations that are explosive 
Not things that just we hear and we just say them over and up. These are going to be explosive le- declarations and prophecies are going to be released that are going to be explosive in regions where we couldn't get through before. We're going to be able to get through. We're going to be able to go through because God's going to move things that he never... There's people that have given up on revival because the people that they're sitting around. Find people that will burn and start hanging with those people and explosive things are going to begin to happen. Amen? Jesus. The explosive were used to move obstacles. Like I said, they moved mountains. It's going to take explosive faith. People, we, sometimes we, even the apostolic prophetic thing, I've said this before, but I really truly believe this. It's not a fad that's happening to the church right now. It's a strategy of God. And just like when we, when we think about the, the intricate things that explosives are used for, we have to understand that God is not, sometimes we think, why is he making me do these uncalled things that don't seem like they make any sense? Because he has a strategy. He has a way that he wants you to do it. He's very specific about things. And that, that is so that every step of obedience it's going to require for you to get to that place, you need to say yes to God every step of obedience because the strategy that he's got is going to be explosive when it's over. And, when, and I want to be the one standing and saying, wow, God, I've been wanting that to move for a long time and it's gone now. I don't have to look at it anymore. Amen. Amen? Yes. Jesus, explosive decrees that move the boulders of religion. The combustion of power will leave open places for new development, new development, new plans, new strategies, new mindsets. He said any time that, that they need to take down massive buildings, like I said before, would make room for new developments. There's some things that we feel like that's taking forever. God's not in time. It's not forever to him. And we're going to look, turn around and it's going to be the building that you all need is going to happen. It's going to happen like that. Yes. Explosive it's, it's last night I was praying and I was after we got together I was praying and I was like this is going to happen in an explosive way the building that they need is going to be some, and it's going to be something that even even they need, didn't know there's going to be so much room to do what you need to do you're going to have, Joe's going to come up with new things to fill up all the space because this building's going to be it's going to be awesome guys and it's going to come quick explosive things happen quick amen we, this, it's not, this is not to cancel out contending. This is not to cancel out saying, sowing seed and being consistent. This is for people that's been there believing God for things and they've been there believing and they've been there believing. It's fixing to hit. Amen? Amen. Jesus. God is placing these faithful, forceful people that aren't afraid to push through. Explosions are forceful. They carry a lot of power. There's some of you that you don't realize the power that you have hidden on the inside of you because you're too afraid to open your mouth. You're too afraid to say something. You're too afraid. Some of you have gone, gone, gone through seasons where you don't feel qualified. You don't feel like you fit even here. And I'm telling you, that's a lie from hell. And that what it is is Satan's trying to keep you from stepping into this so that you'll miss this explosion of power. And you, you need to step up. I'm giving you a warning. You need to step up and get over your feelings right now and step up and to be what God's called you to be. Because, listen, this, this team and this church and this vision was put here for a specific reason. There's no reason, there is no explanation why we ever connected with these people. But our life is producing more fruit in our life than the 40 years we've been married. We are walking in such supernatural things that we've never seen before in our 40 years of marriage. So alignment and obedience, I'm telling you, faithfulness, these are key things that it's going to take for this explosion of power. Key things, revivals that you don't know when they start and you don't know when they stop. Right. Amen. Amen. It's, it, this, is, this is one of the things that the Lord showed me in our town was that they had that mindset of it's that, it's that time in the spring or whenever it is, the summer, it's that week that the, we set apart for our revival. And we began to sow in prayer of a revival culture, of just having the culture of revival in our, in our home and, in our, and at the gate and every, all the people so that we live this when we, when we go home. It's not something that we turn off and turn on. This explosion, like I said before, is going to be so powerful. Everybody knows when something's exploded. Everybody hears it. Even the deaf can feel it. And this is what's going to happen is it's going to be such an explosion of power, explosive healings. 
Explosive freedom. I, I'm believing for, this is for me and my personal life and Doug and I's ministry, we're believing for an anointing that when drug addicts come to us and we lay hands on them, they're, they're completely set free from drugs, automatically broken through, no, no rehab is needed. They're absolutely set free that instant that we pray for them. I, I need this breakthrough and ex, ex explosion in my life. I need, I don't know about you, but I need an explosive power movement in my life. Amen. If you, if you don't need it, that's okay. The rest of us will take your part. Because there's some things that need to be moved out in my region. I don't know about y'all, but there's some stuff that needs to be moved out and cleared out. Amen. Jesus. There are new structures that God will, that will go up. New alliances, new wine, and new ways. There's a lot of things that we, um, traditional things, that <laughs> it's like cemented in. And the only thing that's going to remove it is explosives. Explosive people. Explosive anointing. There's going to be people that's going to have explosive words that's on the inside of you. And listen, it's not, it, this is what God showed me. A lot of times I always, I always tell everybody, don't get, don't get all entertained, uh, entertainment on your mind where you have to be entertained at church. I'm not talking about an entertaining explosion. I'm talking about something that's been boiling and bo it's going to bubble up until it explodes. It's like under the earth because it's, it's hidden in your faithfulness. It's been hidden in your devotion. It, and this is going to ignite explosive devotions. People that, people that have been wishy-washy in your devotional time, you're going to be able to start stepping into an explosive encounter with God when there's nobody around but just you and your word. And, your, and for me, it's my music, my word, and just me and God. And I just, I, every day, I have to have that. And I'm telling you, you're going, to, you're going to stop this up and down relationship that you have with God. And then marriages are going to be explosive. Parenting is going to be explosive. Come on explosive financial breakthrough because it's been bubbling through all the seeds that you've sown. Amen? And it's going to happen quick. If you don't miss it, if, if, you, if you're asleep, it's going to wake you up. Amen? We have too many people that are lulled to sleep in church because they've, they've quit expecting. They've quit expecting. They come in and they come to services if they make it, but they've, they're not expecting anymore. You're going to be woken up. There's going to be people that, who is that? I don't know, but they're going and laying hands on everybody at Walmart and everybody's getting healed. That's what's happening. This is an explosive move. It's not something that you're going to expect, but it's going to be quick. And you better be paying attention or you're going to miss out. Amen? Amen. Jesus, the Lord told me this. He said, and it's funny because Apostle Joe began to say things. And I'm just like, <laughs> I was just nodding because he said, he said the same thing. And I was like, this is, we're so connected. And, and whenever, it was funny because when the Lord gave me this word, he texted me two weeks ago and he said, you're fixing to walk into a hot spot. Today was fire. You know how he does, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> and, and I said, it's funny, the Lord gave me a word last night that we're stepping into an explosive, an explosion. And he called me immediately. That's what we're here. That's what we're here. So God is, and I'm like, okay, God, this is a crazy different word. Am I supposed to, you know, this is, this is not your, you know, go get them type message. And, oh, you're awesome, and you're going to change the world. This is, this is different. And so I'm like, am I supposed to, and then here, Jennifer, I heard, I heard the word dynamic, and I'm like, okay, God. Then yesterday I wake up, and my devotional, first thing, Psalm 145.1, my praises will explode. I'm like, okay, God, so I'm telling you, this is, this is what I'm telling you. There's some of you, you, you don't understand the call of God on your life because you're sitting back waiting. The waiting is over. Waiting time is over. You, you've, been in that, you've been in that, what is that, safe mode on your computer? You're, you've been in safe mode for a long time. And we need to, we need to understand, you've got you to shut down and restart up and get a call of God on your life and say, God, I say yes today and I'm not going to wait around anymore. If I, if I would have stopped and waited until I felt like I could do this, I would never do this. It took someone bold like Apostle Joe Dawson to say, you, you know, you, you need to do this. Because this is, what, this is the thing. I never realized this. Recently, we have uh, seen uh, numerous prodigals coming home to the Lord. Numerous. Not just one. Numerous prodigals coming home to the Lord. One of them told me something 
that shook my world, and I'll, I'll never forget it. It was a 16-year-old, and he said this. He said, I've seen people and heard people talk about God a lot, but I've never seen anybody actually live this. And I thought, oh, Lord Jesus, what are we doing, church? What are we doing with our religious things that we do where we're not impacting people? We turn it on for each other so that we'll look spiritual to each other. But the lost are looking for him. And this is, this is one of the things that ignited something in me to where I had to understand that there's, there's, there's things about our life that we don't understand that people need to see. They need to hear. And I, that's why I've stepped up more, not only because Apostle Joe is the great challenger and pusher, but because... <laughs> Because the Lord told me last year, he said, he said, who is it that's impacted you? And I was like, well, Apostle John Autumn and yeah, and uh, Apostle Dutch and Apostle Ken and, and Karen Wheaton. And he's like, well, are, aren't you glad that they've not stayed hidden like you do? Yeah, amen. So I said, okay. And the Lord challenged me, and because this is, you all, seriously, this is, listen to what I'm saying, this is serious. I don't, I don't need to do this, but I'm called to do it. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I don't like the attention. You can ask my husband. We live 10 miles out in the country in no, in no, no man's land. I don't need this. But when I see and I hear people say, I've heard about God, but I've never seen him lived out, that ignited something in my heart that I will never forget. And we don't need you to come in here and act right and look right. We need you to go out there and be who God called you to be. Then stop hiding it. Are you ashamed of what's on the inside of you? Because I'm telling you, you don't realize what the little things that you say that impact people's heart. You don't understand the things that you say and that the things, the way you do things. And when you do kingdom things, you're going to have kingdom um, results. You're going to have kingdom fruit. And people need to witness that. Amen? Amen. The Lord told me once, it was actually the year that we met Apostle Joe at the ramp. And I, I should have brought my notebook, but it was, I had this thing written out. But I, I soaked one night at the ramp. They had like an hour, it was almost two hours of soaking time, of just soaking. And I hadn't done that. You know, ministry will, will, will take up all your time and you don't have time to soak anymore. And that, that shifted that for me. I'm like, I'm never going to do this again. I'm going to spend time in the presence of God with, with no agenda, just him. Yeah. And I began to soak and I wrote out this thing. I'm aware that I'm awakened, that I'm a witness. And I, I really truly believe that people are waiting for real people. They're, they don't even want the flashy you that you think catches eyes. It's going to be the real you of who you are because you carry him. Yeah. And does that look explosive? It doesn't on the outside, but the results are going to be explosive. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't realize sometimes, and like I said before, sometimes it, 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 just one little act of obedience of texting someone that you've not talked to in 20 years or something, and they need a word from God, it's going to be an explosive word to them. It may not feel like it from you, but it's going to be explosive on their end. Yeah. Amen. So don't, don't argue it away. Don't explain, oh, yeah, I shouldn't do this because of this and this and this. Don't use excuses that you got by with for the last 25 years. Just step up and obey God. Amen. Yeah. But the Lord said this. He said, God is about to cause an explosion of his power to come through his body. Why? Because it's time. It's time. We, we, we need to see. We need to see prophetic words that's been prayed over. We need to see the fruition of it. And we need to see the fruit of it. Because people are starving. People are starving. They're going to church and they're starving. And it may not be true in this house, but I'm telling you, you go out in the world very much and you go out and see and you, you will see people that are in the church that are starving. Um, there's, there's something that's happening that we see in the regions and we see in our own uh, areas that um, people are walking in and they're so, in, they're so bound in things. And there's no anointing to break any yokes. And so year after year, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter around their neck. It's tighter and tighter in their life. And so they're looking for places. They're getting desperate and going to places that everybody's talking bad about even. And that, that they're going to talk bad about you for a minute. But when the explosion hits, it's going to get everybody's attention. Yeah. 
And it's not about getting attention for, you know, monetary reasons of uh, popularity or Hollywood status junk. It's going to be because I need a breakthrough and I've got to get to a place that has the anointing that I can get this stuff off of my life. Amen. Amen. The, the house, this house and the houses of God that's been contending for this explosive power. He said there's going to be explosive faith, explosive freedom, explosive re re revelation, growth, reformation, revival, awakening, favor. There's going to be explosive prayer. Not, not prayer that just is something we just absolutely just get stuck on like a scratched record prayer. It's going to be explosive prayer. Explosive praise is going to break out. The praise that, that praise that whenever, and it's been happening, it's been happening, it's because it's still, it's been bubbling, but it's at the surface, it's at the surface place now to where it's going to explode. And, and you don't really, seriously, you kind of, you know, people, we have, we have people come in and visit us sometimes and we're just like, you know, we're so glad you're here, we're so glad you're here because our agenda is not about their checkbook. Our agenda is about our region. And what they have to do is when they come in, they have to see what God is doing in people's hearts so that they can go back to their place and their region and their churches and be refreshed so that they can take that anointing back. And in this explosion, it's going to cover so much ground because if you want to step up and be part of the explosion, then wherever you go, it's going to explode. And it's just going to continue to explode in every area that we go. Everywhere our foot hits the ground is going to be an explosion of power and anointing. Amen. I want to carry this. I want to carry this. I want to be used like this. And for me, I feel like I want to walk in and explode and then walk out and, no, and give nobody my name. I don't want to be, I don't want any kind of my, my name in lights about the explosion. I want, to, I want to be so faithful that God can trust me with it to where I can walk in and explode and get yokes broken and, and pray for people, get them healed and then run out and say, God, it's all about you and it's still going to be about you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord showed me um, in 1 Samuel where he's talking about, um, let me see if I can go back, where Samuel... This is this Lord gave me this scripture quite a while ago, and I'm I'm going to try to go back and find it because I I the Lord said whenever there's an explosion, your ears even move, and I said yes, they do. I remember I hate explosives and I hate firecrackers and all that stuff, but it makes your ears itch. It makes them like move, but. In, in 1 Samuel, I can't remember what chapter it is, but it says that God's going to speak and he's going to cause men's ears to ring again because his voice had not been heard in so long. And when this happens, your ears are going to start. You're going to hear things in the spirit that you couldn't hear before. If your ear is to the heart of God, you're going to hear things that you've never heard before. You're going to have so much revelation. It's going to, be, it's going to feel weird to you because you don't know it's God, but you're going to have so many things told to you that God can trust you because he can trust your heart that your ears are going to start filling up with revelation. Your ears are going to start filling up with things that he's going to say to you, things that he's going to give you to do, people he's going to assign you to. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Man, for this he said explosive praise is going to break out shouts that shake things right out of heaven he showed me the heaven is going to be so shook that things are going to fall out of heaven and hit the earth and, and there's people that that are people that are on their last breath waiting for a healing it's going to happen in jesus name explosive healings i'm i'm expecting for cancer to be just explode in people's body to where they it's just where did it go where did it go it's gone Explosive healings, explosive revelation. These are, these are things that we've been praying for and praying for and expecting. But it's going to happen so quick. And I'm like, God, I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready for this. Look, come on, my family and my friends and people in my life, they need an explosive power of God in their life. And I'm, I'm praying that this is something that we, we don't just push off as another, oh, that's just another word. That's, that's cool. That's another word. No, God is speaking very loudly to me, and I'm to release it to you here today. Get ready for the explosion. Get your heart set and get ready. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Breakthrough and provision, intercession, explosive intercession. And, you know, you think about intercession, you think, you know, well, that's, that's, that's cool. You know, we all are, we need intercessors. But this is going to be an explosion, not just in the intercessors' uh, prayers, but the intercessors themselves are going to be explosive. 
whenever, whenever God showed me that, I saw, I saw almost like them in their closet and pacing. I'm a pacer, so they was pacing and just, just the fire of God. I want to tell you the last uh, Roar family thing that we had here. Um, Apostle Joe had all the intercessors begin to circle and pray. I about hit the floor, y'all. I about went to the floor. I'm telling you, and I'm not usually, I, I, I was like, where's the chair? I got to hang on to something. I about hit the floor. I, the anointing was so powerful. And I looked up and I couldn't, I could see people's bodies going around in a circle. But what I saw was a ring of fire going around at the, at the people. And I saw a ring of fire and I, I told God, I was like, God, this is, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to see some, listen, you don't understand, but people may, people may talk like they don't want the power of God. They need the power of God. And they're just afraid to even say that they want the power of God. Don't back down for nothing. Don't hold it down. Don't settle down. Don't back down. Because it's going to be explosive. Amen. I hope your faith is getting high because I'm telling you, I want, I want this to shake you to a place to where you're, those of you that's been faithful, you're ready. And those of you that haven't, that's been in and out and wishy-washy, you stand to attention today because God needs you. Don't disqualify yourself with being wishy-washy and unfaithful. God needs you. He needs every one of us. Amen. Mm, thank you, Lord. This is set in place at this time for the faithful. The faithful are the ones that God is using. The faithful's fuses. I keep hearing that. Nothing will be left untouched. Everything's going to be moved. Get ready for everything to be moved. In an explosion, there's nothing that stays the same. Everything's going to be moved. So if you're comfortable with things, comfort kills. If you're comfortable with things the way they are, you're going to have to understand that God needs that moved. And, and it's not going to look the same. It's not going to feel the same. You're going to go sit down somewhere and it's not going to be there. You're going to fall to the ground because it's going to be moved. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Every obstacle will be cleared out of the way. Think of something right now that's been standing in your way that's not letting you through to what it is God's called you to do. It's going to be moved in Jesus' name. Every mountain be moved in Jesus' name. Texarkana is about to explode in revival, awakening, miracles, salvations. This is going to happen. It's going to happen quick. I'm expecting for people to get text messages and calls today. Today. And that's how quick it can happen. It can happen that quick. Amen. Amen. Everything that is in heaven will fall to the earth. The waiting is over. We've waited. Like I said before, God said you've waited and you've waited and you've waited and you've waited and you've been ready. And it's here. It's here. And I feel like saying this again. It's time. God's, God has told me several times, and then Apostle Joe kept saying, because it's time. It is time. And that's why I'm giving you this warning that I feel, this urgency that I feel in my spirit. If you've been in and out, and you've been kind of just cutting yourself loose, because you just don't want to mess with this stuff anymore. You just don't really want to be, you don't want to, you don't want to be part of this anymore. I'm telling you right now, God is telling you today, you better, you better get to a place of faithfulness, because I'm telling you, God... There's, there's something that I always, I always say this. God believes faithfulness is spectacular. You don't have to be this. You don't have to preach like Joe and Autumn or, or me or anybody else. You don't have to be that person that everybody looks to. Oh, wow, they're wow people. You can be faithful and be spectacular. You can be faithful and be an explosive person that God needs in the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter. Faithfulness is the most spectacular thing that you can do. Amen. We've been stuck in the countdown way too long. It's time for us to walk in it. It's time to us, for us to manifest. I got that word manifest because of this, what this 16-year-old told me. I've seen God talked about a lot, and they talked about him for years, but I've never seen him. It's time for us to manifest him. It's time for us to manifest the kingdom of God everywhere we go. Yes. Yes. It's needed, and it's time. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Jesus. The time to explode is power. And the Lord told me, are you satisfied, with, are you satisfied talking about it? Are you satisfied to keep talking about it year after year after year? Are you satisfied with just everybody? Oh, let's just, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. No, it's here and it's time. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to be quick. And so don't, don't wait on things. If, you, if the Lord's told you to sow a certain seed, sow it. If the Lord's told you to call those people, call them, whatever it is. If the Lord told you to cut off something, cut it off. Yeah. What, if you, what if you were frozen right now, this instant? Where would we find you? Where would we find your devotional life if you was frozen right now? 
Amen. I know that's a hard question to think about, but I, but this is listen. I don't I don't I don't hold this with just a nonchalant attitude. I hold this with the fear of God on my life that I take this serious and I take His word seriously, and you should too. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want an explosion in my own life. You know, a lot of times people will look at leaders and they think, oh, you know, they're, you know, besides Doug, he wakes up like that. <laughs> but sometimes we look at people and we think, you know, oh, they're, that's just the way they are. You know what? Sometimes you have to get up and you have to make your mindset. That's the way it's going to be. This is what I'm called to do. This is who I'm called to be. And I don't care how tired I am or how, how big the wall looks. I don't care. Because if you carry him, you're called to knock it down. If you carry him, you're called to lay the hands on the, on the sick. You're, those prodigals, like I said, they're waiting. They're standing around waiting. Where's the faithful people at? I need somebody to show me faithfulness. I need somebody to teach me. I want to learn. I want to learn. I just need someone that's got integrity and character that will actually be who they said they was. I, I'm looking for it. Amen. This explosion is going to expose a lot of things. Don't run and hide. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to run. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want to close in saying this. I, I truly believe with all my heart that there's things that God... There's things that God's got to remove from every one of us to make ourselves ex accessible to him and available to him. That song that she sung long ago, no, they were singing that, that was, this morning I, I heard that word, be accessible. But don't just be accessible. Be a person that's available, not just to me, but to anybody that needs you. Anybody that's hungry. And this explosive power that's going to happen is going to blow things up in you. That's been lying dormant for a long time. But you got to step up today and say, God, I want, I want to live in this. I want to live in this. Because he's ready for it. It's time for it. He's wanting it too. Amen. And if this, is, if this word didn't speak to you, that's fine. But this is what God is burning for me. And he's been burning it in me for two weeks to bring here today. Because I truly believe that everything in this house, everything in this region is going to explode and it's going to be quick. And I truly believe that everything that we've been praying for, that Apostle Joe and Autumn has been praying for and prophesying for, it's coming and it's coming now. Now I'm tired of waiting to see it. I'm ready to see it. I want to hold it. Amen. I want to hold it in my hand. Amen. Can I pray? I'm just going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just ask, Lord, that you to rumble in our hearts this morning. Shake us, Lord, and shake us good. Lord, we want to be part of this movement of explosion of power. We want to be part of this explosion of the anointing that you have in our lives. And God, we don't want to be stuck in the same place that we was last week, last year. Move us out, God, of our comfortable places. Shake us from this Christian coma that we've been asleep in. Because, God, your regions need us. Your regions need the sons and daughters that are full of your power and your spirit to walk the earth, to manifest your kingdom. And, Lord, I say yes today. And, Lord, we say yes in this house that you're going to do everything that you prophesied over through, through your prophets. You've done everything that you said and that you've shown us that you're going to do. And you're going to do it quick and you're going to do it now. And we say thank you, God. That we stand here today and we promise, Lord, that we will give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord.